Hi friends, good morning. So today we are here to understand how we can automate our virtual machine start time and end time. So this is the question which came although from US. So one of my friend I was asking that uh, uh, we are triggering finance and operation application and then uh, developers are coming from various regions. I want to have an uh, automation wherein I can start and stop the virtual machine. So quite there are few lot many options are there basically so you can have you can write a webhook you can also do the task which is available from here okay and also you can do auto shutdown so first of all we will try to see our machine whether this machine is having the auto shutdown or not and i completely understand since this machine was already used it should be having an auto shutdown so it's very easy it should be like this once you start okay so once you start your uh, virtual machine uh, uh, screen to get your uh, auto shut down this will be look like this okay so what you need to do is you need to just push on on and then the desired timeline what time you would like to get your uh, virtual machine off so maybe uh, every day uh, you want you want to get it at the end of the day you want to make this virtual machine switch off so just click on it and then um, uh, notification yes you can make it so notification what will happen is if you are getting notification there will be an option that whether you can skip that particular particular virtual machine for one hour maybe two hours or maybe skip it for the day so by this what happens is in case you are doing a critical work you can skip that particular virtual machine for that particular day or maybe you need one extra hour to finish your lab or maybe one hour extra to do your work for the day you can do that so simple we will start with the notification and uh, the current time is 12 38 in uh, india so what i will going to do i will just make it as 12 45 let's see if i get this done so i'll make it as uh, 41 i guess okay and uh, yep okay so today at 1 uh, 12 41 pm it will go off if this machine is making it off okay so uh, if the machine is on so let me go first try to make it power on okay so this has been already saved okay that's the updation which i have done and then go to the virtual machine overview start it okay and then uh, i wanted to give you information that how we can start it throughout the week so let's get started onto the action call task okay so that's under preview microsoft may uh, rule this uh, like uh, remove this but i would say that it is a uh, very good task automation so come here uh, what you want to do you want to start the machine power off delocate start monthly cost resources so we are understanding to start the virtual machine from here so start the virtual machine it will try to get your uh, uh, Azure uh, connected with the help of your Outlook account. Also, uh, for task uh, creating up the task and giving you the email, so it will be asking you to connect with the uh, okay, had the connection with the Office 365 Outlook, Outlook as well. So go and create the connection. So it will automatically detect the email IDs. So you need to just select which one you you are looking for okay so this takes time normally yeah so there is no such prompt to review so i guess we need to wait for a few more minutes and in the meantime my machine will go down so no problem i should be able to give you the actually information that how it works so that's my email id i'll put in and then the status which is right now red will change to green similarly on here and then sign in similarly it will again back i need to back in with my uh, azure id it should work come on yep okay and then configure so what i do to want to configure i want to have a auto start so i will just make this as a u to auto start 
okay and then what's the start time i would say make it uh, from 13 zero five like today zero five zero five and two thousand uh, twenty three and then my machine will turn off around uh, twelve forty two so I'll just make this as twelve forty three and then pm and then I will make this as a time zone of India okay so there are multiple time zones it's based on uh, what you are looking for you can definitely put in what is the interval every day i want and frequency i will make this as week okay and then notify me and in case i want to put in my email address i can get it done immediately yeah okay so that's done and create started virtual machine successfully so machine has been started and the task for uh, i think stopping would be it should start actually it has been started so we will see what's the status now and look for the auto shutdown auto shutdown was 41 so i think that goes wrong so uh, let me bring it down to 43 i will just put 44 then save it okay and see what happens uh, so this is done so this will give you the start uh, stop trigger and then to start i have my task which i need to edit it actually i need to delete it and then go all together again Okay, any changes would not uh, get applied because it's based on the connection. So just make a new task and say start the machine. So once the my machine is uh, stopped at uh, 1245, I will have to get my, uh, I will say auto start and make it as uh, 0, 13, 13, uh, 0, 05, 2023. And I will try to make this up by 12. I would say 46. The very next minute, it should get a start prompt. And then I think the time zone is India. Yep. And then um, India time zone. Make the interval as 5, frequency as week, and notify me with the help of my email ID. Okay, hotmail.com. Here we go. So it's done and say review and create. Yeah, we are on time. Let's see. So with this difference of particular one minute, I have not done it a small uh, demo, but I thought of doing it for you so that you can get all those uh, stuff. So let's see whether I get an ID, whether I get a uh, mail to my inbox. Just trying to load it from my next screen sorry okay so still loading and it got loaded perfect so i will just bring in the system again try to see if i have got mail no mails focused mail no mails we'll just wait for the time i think we should be getting the mails but looks like it was in very short span so it might not get it okay but the thumb rule remains the same you should be able to uh, this is done okay so you should be getting emails while it is getting stopped so let's see it was shut down or not it was auto shut down and then it may be restarted so we can look for the uh, task okay okay so let me try to uh, delete this uh, because um, uh, it did not work because it was very less uh, less number of hours which i have given like within a minute it should start and within a minute it should stop so all confusing so what i i meant is you just need to do 
and then like you start up at 9 a.m now normally for uh, what we do a setup as a start up at 9 a.m as ist and then shut out at around 5 30 p.m so i think my demo is uh, completed i would say yes and in case you have any issue doubt just uh, message me call me back no problems uh, i would say try to uh, subscribe my channel and uh, get the like button have the notification on then you should definitely get my video by the first time thank you bye bye